Ni kwenye uzinduzi wa kanuni za kuwalinda waadhiriwa wa dhuluma za kijinsia huko jijini Nairobi, hafla iliyowaleta pamoja wadau mbalimbali kwenye sekta ya utumishi wa umma, idara ya mahakama na mashirika ya kutetea haki za kijinsia. Waziri wa Utumishi wa Umma na Jinsia Aisha Jumwa akitangaza vita dhidi ya dhuma za kijinsia na kuongeza kwamba kanuni hizo zitatoa mwongozo wa kupata amri za ulinzi na kuhakikisha waadhiriwa wanapata usaidizi wa haraka wa kisheria. The rules establish clear guidelines for obtaining protection orders ensuring that survivors have access to swift and effective legal remedies. Tari serikali imeweka mipango ya kuanzisha hazina ya waadhiriwa wa dhuluma za kijinsia kwa ushirikiano na wadau mbalimbali ili kutoa msaada kwa manusura. On the survivor um, fund it is one of the 12 commitments as I've said on the platform of um, uh, I mean a GEF platform and uh, the government through the state department for gender i can say that uh, we have started uh, to actualize and our target is by 2026 to have the funds by the government through the state department for gender juma pia ameagiza kuondolewa kwa ada inayotozwa kwa waadhiriwa ili kupata fomu za P3 katika vituo vya polisi akisema ada hiyo inaongezea uchungu kwa waadhiriwa A P3 form as i have said is the, is the beginning or it is the starting of the journey to justice to these survivors So if they are asked to pay 1000 to uh, 3000 depending on the police station where these survivors will report is actually to revictimize that person who is already victimized and therefore i would request that this service be rendered free of charge takwimu za mwaka 2022 zimeonesha kwamba Asilimia 34 ya wanawake nchini wamepitia unyanyasaji kuanzia umri wa miaka 15. Faith Ndato Undugu TV